Yes, you heard that. I played a DOS game with an Xbox 360 controller. Okay, you saw that part during my Commander Keen review, but what if I told you there was a different gamepad that was made for DOS games? Before the invention of the USB drive, you had to manually install the drivers and the plug was completely different. This, my friends, is the Gravis gamepad. You're probably either laughing at how old this thing is or you're confused by such an ancient relic. Well, let me shed some light. Advanced Gravis Computer Technology was the leading manufacturer of computer peripherals and hardware. They were founded in 1982 in British Columbia, Canada, but Kensington Computer Product Groups bought them out in 1997, and Gravis disappeared. Their most popular product was the Gravis GamePad, which had two variants, the GamePad Pro and GamePad Pro USB, the latter of which had a USB plug. Funny I mention that because the GamePad Pro USB wasn't used for DOS games. The GamePad Pro had an extra port built in to allow piggybacking. Today we have the Xbox controllers and the PlayStation controllers, both of which use USB ports. I won't get into too much detail, but I'll give you a short rundown on how Gravis worked. Gravis used something called the Game Port. What that means is there was a port on the back of the motherboard or sound card that was designed for the Gravis gamepad and older joysticks. Each pin performed a specific function on the gamepad, meaning if one pin broke off, that particular function wouldn't work. You plug it in, install the drivers, and there you go. Well, you had to calibrate the gamepad first, otherwise the axis would sputter out of control, and each game required the joystick to be calibrated. What's really unusual was that the controller was ambidextrous. What I mean is that players can toggle the switches on the top and bottom for left-handed and right-handed playing capabilities, so that way no one got stuck using the keyboard. The later models, however, didn't have that unique concept. And that, everyone, is Gravis, a unique little gem of a controller and company, but now it's nothing more than a piece of history.